Hey, Conj. What's up, dude? T tell me you saw Batman vs. Superman. Yeah, dude, and I wish I didn't. You wish you didn't? Yeah, that movie sucked. <laughs> What do you mean it sucked? It really sucked. I'd much rather watch Waterworld ten more times than watch that damn movie. Adon, what do you think? Dude, hit up Christian. Let's go to the break room. Ow! Alright, welcome to the break room blitz. My name is DeAnthony. I have my boy Christian over here on the screen. I have my boy Don. And I have my boy Conj over here. Yo. We got a lot to discuss. So we're going to just get right into it. Batman vs. Superman. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> what did you think? We'll start with Conj. I, I know I made the comment that I would watch Waterworld ten more times. Maybe five more times will suffice. No, no. Um, you know, honestly, the movie... Just didn't do it for me. They should have left it. They should have just made it a Batman movie. If they would have just made it a Batman movie and took out all the other crap and Lois Lane wasn't too much of a damsel, damsel in distress, I would probably be very happy with the movie because Batman ruled. Ben, ben Affleck. Oh, yeah. You the man. Emo Superman needs to get his testicular fortitude back. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the movie just needed more up for me. What about yeah. you, Christian? You know what? I, I agree. I. I... Rated a four out of ten, so Ooh, it's four. a failing grade. <laughs> four out of ten. Average. I can agree with that. You see, just and, and the thing is, is even taking away the, the superhero aspect of the movie, the movie in general, just the way it was crafted, the way it was made, especially knowing that there was a year delay in which they could have gone That's reshot true. things, spent more time in editing, did more focus tests, and, and really perfected it. They they really just didn't deliver. I, all they had to sell the movie was Batman and Superman, and they failed to, to even do that because they, they they had like an eight minute fight together, very anticlimactic. What led up to it, very dull and just disorganized. It just wasn't a really good movie. It did have some entertainment pieces to it. There were some moments that where you saw the promise of what it could have been, but. Um, I think it it really underwhelmed for vast majority of fans and then standard moviegoers as well. Yeah, man, it hurts. I gotta agree. But I gave it a 5 out of 10. One more point, just for the sake of it, introducing Ben Affleck, and I ate my words when they announced him to be like, okay, Ben, ben Affleck, Affleck, bad, terrible, he's not gonna do it, failed on Daredevil, I, I don't see it happening, you know? But... As soon as I see him like show like his true form of you know Batman and he he is a dark Batman. They showed us a brand new side to the Dark Knight. You know he he brought the darkness and he was broken. Something happened and I think that they're gonna show us going forward within like the spin-off Batman movie origin stories with that and you know what happened. He's shooting people. He's like mowing down people in the Batmobile. It was awesome. He he was awesome. So I mean that's got to make it for me. Wonder Woman, she was a big surprise. When I heard that Gal Gadot, she was like, ooh, I don't know about her as an <laughs> actor, you know, what? but she wowed me. I think she was yeah. overpowered was at she certain in? parts. Was she in anything else? She was in uh, Fast and Furious, yeah. more notably. Whoa. So, I mean... She's an Israeli actress. She's an Israeli oh, actress. She did a good job. The fact yeah. that Superman went and bushel and saved Lois Lane again... Um, and she handled the, like a boss. I'm like, yes, I will take two of her, please. Right. She oh, handled man. it. But I will say this one thing about the Batman aspect. Um, the best thing I can come up for the Batman was basically Bruce Wayne was 007, and when yep. 007 couldn't get the job done, that's what Batman was. And that's the best thing I can say about Batman for overall in this film, and that's why I enjoyed it that much more. He buried Daredevil and just revamped everything. Yeah. So I originally gave it a 7. Because I was, I was disappointed in a lot of stuff as far as like what the storyline means to me. Because I like Superman. I, well, I want to like Superman. A lot. But they just keep letting me down every single time. Yeah. So I went to go see it again. I just can't give it a, I can't give it a 7. I have to give it a 6. I don't like how they just made uh, Doomsday into some hybrid Kryptonian. I, didn't, I don't know where that came from. 
Um, I feel like the fight between Doomsday and Superman should have been epic. It should have been awesome. They Superman ends up dying fighting him. Like they, he actually spoiler, kills. Spoiler. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> In the comics, that's what right. I'm saying. Yes. He actually ends up killing, killing, or gets. Yeah, he actually ends up dying. Right. So I wanted it to be a lot of a better fight. He just kind of seemed kind of wimpy to me. He was getting tossed around. Yes. The only time he was actually good when he was hitting Doomsday from the back yeah. <laughs> up into space. I'm like, you can only be good from the back. Like, come on. You need to have to. You need to be super, not average man, not mediocre man, but Superman. Yeah. I feel like they just don't do that. They kind of like he didn't have any lines. But he had like two lines for the whole movie. He just had. Sad facial expressions. Facial expressions, or yeah. confused expre- uh, facial like they expressions. They hate me, I think. Like, why is this? Yeah. I can't believe it. I'm Superman. Yeah. Like, okay, well, they don't. Some people like you, some people don't. Get over it. You're not going to please everybody. Yeah. But I just, I had to give it a six. There was too many. The, 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 the storyline between Superman and Doomsday is one of the best-selling comics ever. Yeah. 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 So to, to make it like... It doesn't matter, or we're we gonna just throw him in really quick. I felt like they just really, just, just did it. Just, it was a disaster to me as far as that plot point. I liked Batman. I liked. I didn't. Well, I didn't like Wonder Woman actually. She, who she was, out of <laughs> who she was out of her costume, yeah, I could did really not agree. match yeah. her when she was all suited up. Didn't give us much on that. I, I mean, was like, where did, where did this come from? And then, and then when they're fighting. She's like smiling through the whole thing. It's like she's not really taking it serious. Dude, she came in with like a shield and superhero landing to save the two <laughs> guys. Landing. That part was yeah. awesome, but superhero landing. The rest dude. of the fight was just kind of yeah. unrealistic. She, she had her they shield, the... her sword, her gauntlets, her lasso. When she used that lasso, I was like, yes. And she never used her gauntlets like that. She's no. never blocked a whole big old beam. It's mostly like either guns or little rays that she can. Ref- uh, reflect. It's not like a whole massive <laughs> beam. Yeah, but a bu- a bu- and I'm sorry. I almost called him abomination because it was equally as horrible. Abomination. But freaking um, uh, what you call it? What the hell is that character's name? Doomsday. Again? Doomsday. <laughs> sorry, he didn't feel like Doomsday to me, so I'm not gonna call him Doomsday. But he had that, that whole the trailer from Lord of the Rings. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, like I got the pictures and put them right next to each other. I was like, oh, the whole man. scene of but, Lex. Uh, bringing Doomsday to life was like straight out of Lord of the Rings with yeah. Sar- Saruman making the Urukai, <laughs> and it just looked right out of there. We just like, didn't hear yeah. Saruman. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, go Speaking kill the halflings. Lex. I mean, go kill Superman and Batman. Speaking of Lex, um, I have to, we have to bring him into the conversation just because it was a new rendition of Lex Luthor, and um, I was happy with him until I found out afterwards that Zack Schneider actually originally wanted Joker and Riddler in the film. And he ended up collaborating those characters and making Lex Luthor, so after that I was completely disappointed because it kind of was a cop-out to me. The new rendition of Lex was decent, but and I actually enjoyed it, but it was one of those... Uh, I did, but... It was twitchy. Yeah. He was like, hmm, riddle me this. I mean, wrong line. Yeah, you know? And I'm crazy. <laughs> so it was like Joker and Riddler tossed back and forth, and it kind of... All right. What yeah. do you think, Christian? About the, uh... I, I feel like he had a cold the entire time he was shooting. Cause every, <laughs> like the intense scene he had, he had snot dripping down out of his nose, and that's the shot that they decided to go with. <laughs> every time they did a close up of him, he had something dripping out of his nose, and you know what? It, it was kind of a failure because, like you said, it was it was like he saw Heath Ledger's performance as the Joker, he saw Jim Carrey as the Riddler, and thought, "Yeah, let, let me get the middle ground between those two characters," which yeah. just doesn't work at all. And then, um. I know a lot of people have said that he's not really Lex, Lu- Lex Luthor Sr. He's Alexander Luthor, his yeah. son. Yeah. So I-, I don't know how that plays into the lore. I don't know if they're going to address that later on or if it's just one of those things that they use as a That's cop out because they knew that they failed with the character. Right. I like he that wasn't one. menacing at all. Like That whole scene with the, the Jolly Rancher, it's supposed to be uh, something that kind of displays the power he has over other people. But to me, it was so childish, and it didn't really build up to that moment at all, that it it just felt really out of place, and I I thought if anyone else were in that situation, they would be like, no, I'm not going to eat that out of your hand. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing, kid? (laughs) Right. (laughs) 
And I think the whole reason why people are saying that, that Wonder Woman is great in the movie is just because they were so tired of seeing Batman and Superman because it was so That's funny. probably what it was. Makes it That's probably what it was for me. Because <laughs> she wasn't that great to me. She actually, well, she handled it. So the thing is that, you know, I think one of the biggest things is, you know, the uprise in, in women in film and, and taking a prime role. And you know what? She, she's a woman that went out there and freaking handled it. So, I mean, I, I enjoyed that part of it to see Wonder Woman finally on screen. Wonder Woman taking on the same things that... Superman and Batman can tolerate. It was it was a nice dynamic. She was actually taking on more. Yeah, she, she was. was the only one. She was the only one fighting at one point. Right. You know. Exactly. And yep. So, but it just, I still enjoyed it. Like, I mean, that that gave me the the dominant. I'm gonna just take it. You right. know, like, and that was awesome. I enjoyed that. Um, I think yeah. what they needed, what they should have done, was just did a doomsday Superman movie. Yes. And then he <laughs> dies, and you get all his replacements, and then he comes back. That would have been a good movie. Yeah, what we got was just a mixture of all of like five different movies. We had so many story arcs out yeah. of the comic book Which that were like, we're gonna throw in Flashpoint, we're gonna throw in like you know this alternate Earth three with Alexander Junior, and we're gonna throw in you know a little bit of uh, you know Owl Man and and like yeah, Flash going coming. back and forth and, and Dark Side coming in the mix. Yeah, and, just, oh my and god, then, and it was not, like not only that, I'm sorry, but you. You make me sit there and watch Aquaman take five minutes to kill a camera. You've like, got to be kidding me. It's like he never, he and, never and knew what he had anymore. Yeah. I mean, he, he, Aquaman can breathe underwater. He doesn't yeah. have to hold his breath. So I'm sitting there just yeah. like, I'm watching. Yeah, why I'm isn't off. Aquaman like floating in there like no lit movement? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, they, they set it up <laughs> at the end. They set it up at the end for him to come into play. And I understand it probably, it definitely would have been too much. Because like, like you said, with the whole bringing the universe together. Yeah. Zack Snyder is not good at it. Unfortunately, sorry, dude, you're not. You, you, you horribly did it with Sucker Punch, and the only reason why Watchmen was good was because you went for panel to panel. This, you did it again. You took 15 different storylines, crammed it into a movie, couldn't collaborate well enough, didn't edit it well enough, or overthought your editing and just yeah. screwed up the whole thing. The you don't think process. that maybe there was like some pressure from the studios, though? I feel the executives yeah. that don't watch these movies, that don't know the storyline, they're just pressed... How much money are we going to put in it? What's the percentage of a return uh, that we're going to get back? And let, let's let's crunch and some numbers here. With Marvel, yeah, they're like throw everything in that we can in there, and let's yeah. just see what happens. And it comes out on Blu-ray. Are you guys buying it, or are you just going to just download it? I will Red buy Box. it as soon as it goes on sale for Black Friday for like five dollars. <laughs> yep, I'm going to Blu-ray. Black I'm going to magically find it on my desktop one day. I don't know how, but if it's there, then cool. I, I, I might just drag and drop it over to the recycle bin. I don't know yet. Yeah, I'm <laughs> probably going to just download it. I'm probably not going to buy it on Blu-ray. Maybe it's five bucks. Five bucks. Five dollars. I haven't seen it in a few years. Add it to the bookshelf. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. I remember this. 